talk going around today about cigarette smoking whittling your life away I've seen it heard it so many times it finally started praying on my mind yeah I guess it scared me a little bit so I decided I'm going to quit what you need is a battle plan that is if you plan to be a smoke free man you know as I'm sitting here thinking about all the money I wasted on cigarettes all these years and I'll spend the rest of my days when I kick this habit my body craves. Yeah, I'll be purified and squeaky clean once I'm rid of this demon nicotine. I mean, it's only a habit. It's a habit you can break. Just a little willpower, that's all it takes. Anytime I want to, I can cut out this stuff. So with that little bit of assurance, I believe I'll have another puff. <laughs> then I'll take one more puff. <laughs> And another puff. <laughs> you know, I give a lot of thought to this thing, and if I didn't smoke these cigarettes, I'd feel like a king. Besides, with the price going up every day, all I'm doing is throwing my good money away. I'm just thinking, maybe I ought to write this down. Put it on a song, circulate it around, can't up and tell, might make a hit. Why? Might even help somebody else quit. Imagine me, a hit songwriter. I'm gonna put this in your life. No, it's a habit, and a habit you can break. Just a little bit of willpower, that's all it takes. I'm convinced all you gotta be is tough. So, with that little bit of wisdom, I'm have another puff. <laughs> and then another puff. <laughs> yeah, maybe one more puff. Cigarettes. I hate cigarettes. I wish I could think of something bad to say about cigarettes. Boo on cigarettes. It ain't going to be easy. Quite the contrary. Very tough. I got a friend next door. Quit smoking. Proceeded to go insane. Mm -hmm. Caught him outside the house one day trying to smoke his front yard. <laughs> got him a poison ivy. Blew his lips off. <laughs> Caught him one morning in the kitchen floor trying to smoke some linoleum. <laughs> Couldn't roll it up. <laughs> <laughs> I got this fishing buddy. Works down a muffler shop. Named Bubba. He quit smoking. Now, trouble with Bubba, he quit one habit, started another one. As soon as he quit the smoking habit, he started the eating habit. Eat everything and get his hands on. Bloomed up to 437 pounds. Couldn't get none of his clothes. Took me shopping with him one day. Walked up to this clerk in this department store and he said, uh, excuse me, buddy. He said, uh, <clears throat> look me over here. He said, uh, do you have anything I can get into? He said, yeah, why don't you try the freight elevator? Nah. <laughs> 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 if you're going to quit cigarettes, you have to have a plan. And what I'm going to do 
And I'm going to call Nicotine Anonymous. <laughs> See, <clears throat> if you get in trouble in the middle of the night and you're pitching one of them nicotine fits, all you got to do is get on the phone, call up one of the members, they come over to your house, and y'all get drunk. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, my plan is this. When I smoke the last cigarette in this house, and I have promised myself, once and for all, that I will never bring another cigarette across the threshold of my domicile again. Fresh Digital TV. Indeed. TV.